Saka Fat YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make my gorgeous fall of the bone brown stew lamb neck. darlings it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen for yet another amazing recipe today i'm stewing some lamb got this beautiful lamb from the butchers in queen's market the last time i was in london and i came home gave it a good soak in some lemon juice and lots of vinegar to get rid of that fresh smell drained it off rinsed off a couple of times and then now we're gonna go ahead and season it up okay this is about a kilogram of lamb mix that's what i'm using today and i'm gonna start by adding a generous amount of oil on there add in my salt of course add in some of my my all-purpose seasoning you can add as much or as little as you like and then i'm gonna add in some freshly cracked black pepper go ahead and add in some other spices like some mixed herbs you can add in some of my freshly blended green seasoning this is optional if you want you can just chop up some onions and garlic and stuff and put it in there i'm also gonna add in some gravy browning this is optional but hey just for a little extra little color and last but not least i'm gonna add in some celery powder i've been enjoying this seasoning so much and i actually got it from the caribbean just in case you're wondering so i didn't want to push my hands in there today and i've actually run out of gloves i'm gonna use this spoon i'm just gonna go ahead and give that a really really good mix to combine Once it's all mixed in, it should look something like this, absolutely beautiful. Cover it with some clear wrap and pop it into the fridge to marinate or you can leave it overnight. Honestly, the longer you leave it, the better the flavor. So to a clean pot, I'm going to go ahead and add in a generous amount of oil, followed by some brown sugar. Now, if you actually added browning, you don't have to do this extra step. This was just for some extra coloring, okay? So if you want, you can literally leave it as is. Add some oil in the pan and just add in your seasoned lamb. That will work perfectly fine. But I wanted that little flavor of that brown sugar caramelizing. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place my heat on the highest heat. And then I'm going to let the sugar just melt down in the oil. Make sure you have your windows open, doors open, because you're supposed alarm is probably gonna go off go ahead and mix that in because you want it to get nice and brown and caramelized and once it's all foamy and dark not too dark or burnt i'm gonna go ahead and add in my lamb Once my lamb has been added in, I'm going to give it a really good mix. As you can see, it looks so, so good. Don't add any liquid or anything as yet. Just go ahead and just make sure to coat it in that gorgeous browning. Then you want to cover it up for about two to three minutes. It's going to spring up some juices. And honestly, you're going to go ahead and just keep mixing it until those juices dry up.
So now I'm checking on my lamp for the final time. As you can see, the liquid has pretty much dried up and we've got some gorgeous color going on. So this is where I've got my kettle of hot water and I'm going to go ahead and add in enough to cover my lamp. Okay, this is about three, four cups of water. And then I'm going to go in with some tomato ketchup, followed by one scotch bonnet pepper, add in some thyme. And I'm also going to throw in some more green seasoning in there. I'm going to cover that up and I'm going to let that cook on low for about two hours. And you can check it, top up the water if necessary, but honestly, you can if you put the heat on low it's not gonna dry up very quickly okay now that i've topped up on seasonings i'm gonna go ahead and cover that up like i said you can check it if the water level is going too low you can always add in a little bit more and yes darlings one of the things i forgot to show you guys is that i actually added some foil under the lid to help cook it and guys this came out so juicy so full of the bone it was so tender and i mixed it in well took off the scotch bonnet pepper halfway through because i was really scared it was going to burst and i was like you know what i'm not trying to have any spicy lamb today So as you can see, the lamb is tearing off really easily. I'm hair risking my fingertips for this. And if you look, guys, this is tearing off so easy. It was so soft and so tender. I will garnish it with some fresh parsley, of course, because this is pretty much the finishing touch you guys know this and yes darlings this literally took about four to six cups of water when it was nearly um dried up i added a little bit more in there no need to top up on seasonings or anything because pretty much we added enough but yes darlings this is how it turned out i served it with some fried plantain my green banana salad some black eyed beans and some rice and oh my god this was sunday dinner all done so i really hope you enjoy the recipe try it soon let me know what you think about it it's been a pleasure having you here and i can't wait to see you in my next one thank you for watching. Bye-bye.